Uh, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Tater Tot and I and some other friends are doing something I have not done as an adult. As a kid, I've been to lots of drive-in movies. Now you bring your car out, sit outside, and uh, tune in your radio, and they put a movie on the big screen once the sun goes down. So we're just filling up. Looks like we got about an hour till the sun starts to get dark. And uh, Sean's got Betty White here, so uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I'm excited about this one. I'm going to share a little bit of it to start this video. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description if you hit some mobile internet. We're at a drive-in movie theater on Route 66. <music> Starting off with some concessions. I'm getting my nachos and cheese. I'm going to get popcorn probably when the movie starts here it's supposed to start at 8 p.m. tonight and it'll keep getting a little bit later throughout as the summer gets nearer and stuff not sure if I mentioned but this is the Litchfield Skyview drive-in movie theater on Route 66 oh yeah and they're doing a double header tonight they're doing Godzilla versus King Kong I've already seen that in IMAX I don't I don't know if we'll stay we'll just see how things go all right, so we're getting set up here. We got Robert and Jill and, and Sean over here. Can't, can't leave out Betty White there. And uh, instead of having boxes here that you attach to your car, he just connected the radio. So I got my speaker there. So we got front row seats here. Sun is just getting ready to set there. We're gonna watch some Goonies. All right, we got our audio set up. We're about 10 minutes away from starting this. I know it doesn't look that dark, but I'm gonna put the camera away because I obviously can't film much of the movie anyway. I may bring my iPhone out a few times, but. Looking forward to some Goonies. It's been a while. All right, we're getting close now. They're telling us to uh, go to the snack bar. Got my popcorn. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, well, the movie just ended. Goonies was awesome. Like I said, they're doing a double feature tonight. So most everybody is uh, leaving because it's kind of cold here still. I just want to see if they're going to do that intermission before we leave. A fun little show. For the most extravagant array of refreshment goodies ever assembled under one roof. <laughs> Enjoy breathtaking, mouth-watering goodies. <laughs> Everything from a snack to a delicious full meal. Mm. At our refreshment center, you'll find a large variety of goodies to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, or your sweet tooth. <laughs> so hurry, hurry, hurry. Visit our refreshment center now. The show starts in 10 minutes. <laughs> Awesome. Not too many people left here, though. So yeah, before I pack up and leave, Robert has left, and there has been an update to fixing my, my gasket issue. So Robert's gone. Jason and Candace have already also started packing up because they think they're going to get their last little thing fixed. And I, I've got the new adapter installed right there correctly with three anti-wobblers. Everything is great. Everything, it, it moves a tiny little bit, but so cars hooked up. Everything's good to go. We're going to be leaving in the morning back to base camp now that I've tested out this system. And, you know, just being here this time, I've thoroughly enjoyed having both the car and the motorcycle equally. So that's cool. Kara, <laughs> well, you want to go outside? You can't go outside. You're not wearing your harness, Tara. Go play with your little brother. She really wants to go outside. You can't go outside without your harness. Ask Jax. We have to put the harnesses on in order to go out, okay? That's the rule. You can't just roam free, okay? I know you want to explore, and you will. But right now, play with your brother. I'll, I'll be right back in. Uh, by the way, the kitties are doing fantastic. It is amazing how much Jax has opened up to this little kitten. It just warms my heart. I have both of them in bed at night. Tara is a little different than Jax. She does go and do nighttime sprints through the RV. And Jax just kind of monitors it, but she always comes back into bed in the morning for, for lunch and everything. So, Sean and Jill are going to come back to the shop tonight. It's an off day for the shop, and I have brought out all of my projection screen equipment, which is conveniently stored under the bed, my, my new bed storage inside the RV. We're going to watch a movie in here, probably something funny here, because uh, it's my last day here at the shop. I know, it's kind of sad. I'm sure I'll be back even later this year, probably for Thanksgiving, you know, but... Yeah, the road is calling. Are you playing nice with your sister? Are you guys playing nice? Tara, is he being nice to you? Sometimes Jax does play a little too rough, but, you know, she's got her front claws, and, and, and from time to time, <laughs> she'll let him know. She's like, you're being too rough, big brother, big brusher. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you what the uh, change was. So I was talking with Jason, who, who kind of knows these V10s. He's worked on them before. Pretty much 
not just Jason, but several other people said, Eric, no matter how many times you do this gasket repair on your manifold, it's always going to come back. The leak is always going to come back. And, you know, I, I, you probably heard that, that it's just a V10 problem. There's always going to be an exhaust leak. Even if it's fixed, it's only going to last a couple days. And we've done this four times. We're getting ready to do it a fifth time. And I, and I reached out to Jason and said, what what can I possibly do? Well, he, he got me the link to an upgraded gasket, a different type of gasket. I don't know much about it yet, except for the ones, the only one that you can order from any auto shop nearby is about 14 bucks for, for two gaskets. And this one that's coming was $58 for two gaskets. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Let's wait and see till we get them, and then we will compare the two because I have the, the new ones I was going to put on versus the ones that are coming in about four or five days. In the meantime, Robert had to run back to Kansas City to take care of some errands and stuff. But either way, if I have to drive all the way across the state and go over to Kansas City to get this done, that's fine. We'll have some fun on this trip to start our, our trip north. Uh, but that's the plan. We're putting off the uh, repair until I get the better gaskets. Makes sense, right? We've already done it four ways this way and it didn't work. Let's try something new. So, uh, I think Sean just pulled up. I think I hear some boom boom. So it's time to load up the uh, projection gear into the shop. All right, well, this is our setup. We're just getting uh, set up in here. Sean, Jill, Candace, Jason, and I. I come over here. <laughs> so we're all seated here. Hey. We're gonna We're gonna pick a movie over here. I brought up uh, Amazon Prime. So if you don't know, and you have Amazon Prime, they're even letting us rent some of the movies that are still out in theaters right now, which is pretty crazy. Got the uh, speaker, the projector here, and the big screen. We're gonna vote on something and start her up. So we decided on, uh, we're gonna watch Nobody, which is still out in theaters, but we can rent movies that are still out in theaters on Amazon Prime. You didn't hear that cuss word though. All right, good morning everyone. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I just got uh, one last package here at Modified, a very large package that was taller than I am. It's in the RV. I'm gonna wait till we get to base camp. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna open up uh, a viewer sent me something strange. And we shall see. I'm gonna stop by the uh, Flying J, dump my tanks, get water, get propane, and then we'll be at the house. So stay tuned. Well, made it back to base camp. It's not raining. Nah, it's not raining not raining because it's snowing in May. It was 90 degrees the other day and I was running the air conditioner. Now it's snowing in May. So are we still in a great big hurry to get out of Illinois and head north? Hilarious. Okay, couple updates. I did find a place here locally that will service my motorcycle. So Roxy the Rebel, I dropped her off at that place. They're gonna do the annual tune-up service, check off all the boxes and say everything's good. So I feel good about that. I'll get it back in a couple days. A little update on the Espen e-bike. They could not repair the brakes, the stock brakes, the hydraulic brakes on the Espen e-bike. They are now, even though they've already had the bike two weeks, they are going to completely start over with the brakes. However, when you hit the front brake now, it's not going to automatically stop the motor of the e-bike. So I have to worry about that now. I'll have to hit the rear brake every single time and then hit the front brake or something like that because it's not going to auto stop. We'll get the e-bike back eventually. Man, it's kind of picking up. It may stick. Does it always snow in May in Illinois? Yeah, I'm not in a rush to get out of here anymore. Uh, oh, I got to show you this awesome gift a viewer sent me. Seriously. Somebody sent me snow skis. <laughs> but they are... Mickey Mouse snow skis from, I think, 91. Snow skis, never been used. There's two of them in a package. Even on the underside of it, it's got Mickey Mouse on it. Isn't that cool? Another Mickey Mouse head right there, also at the bottom of the skis. <laughs> it's great for my collection. I, I do like to snow ski. I'm not a snowboarder, but from Washington State, we would go downhill skiing several times every single winter and it was a great fun thing to do in the winter i have not been in at least seven or eight years basically since i started my channel i have not been oh my gosh the snow is really picking up now sorry squirrel uh but yeah awesome gift thank you charlie for that that is an awesome awesome gift and it's going in my mickey mouse collection for now oh yeah oh yeah Plenty to do inside the house here on a rainy day, but first I want to get my swimming trunks on. That hot tub is 104 degrees. 
I know how to get things done, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get my relax on for a little bit and then go hang out with the kitties, make sure everything's warm. Got the hose put away tonight because we're gonna freeze tonight. It's only gonna hit 30, but again, you never know. It's 90 degrees one day and I'm running the air conditioner. The very next day, it's snowing and I gotta turn the heater on and worry about a deep freeze. <laughs> Illinois is weird. It's all good, though. I'll see you guys in a few days, a couple days. All right. Bye, guys.